I just happened to turn one of them and fuck all was on there. Who? The guy who thinks he's 20, but he's really 90. Uh, Doug Stanhope hangs out with him. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is on there. Yeah, another <laughs> bracelet and eye makeup. You're fucking 55, though. Leave it alone. <laughs> You're not kidding nobody. I love it. He just said fucko, and we tried to guess it. But you know what, bro? He's not a bad guitarist. I gotta give you that much. Johnny Depp is across the board a fucking great actor. Fucking say it was a bad actor. No, 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 no. Fucko. You started calling him fucko. Fucko. Well, I don't know him, the guy, but he's a nice guy. You know, fucko. He'd understand. I said, don't when you shoot your fucking movies, do you watch them? He goes, I don't watch dick. And Levin goes, what are you talking about? You don't watch dick? He goes, listen, I don't watch dick. And Levin goes, but you're... What's his name? Johnny Depp. Depp. Johnny Depp. And he goes, listen, I don't want to see me. And I don't want to hear my fucking voice. He didn't say fucking, but he meant it. One night, just happened to turn Letterman on. And fuck all was on his head. Who? The guy who thinks he's 20, but he's really 90. Uh, Doug Stanhope hangs out with Johnny Depp. Depp. Johnny Depp is on there. Yeah, and other bracelets and eye makeup. You're fucking 55. <laughs> I was at this lecture, and there were 300 abductees there. That, that some who he interviewed with, some, some he had not, but who were there for interest to, to find out a little more about their experience. And one guy got up and said, he had one arm, and I don't know whether that was related, I don't think it was related to the experience, but he said, I'm a Wall Street broker, I'm quite well off, I have a sailboat, I was in Long Island Sound a few years ago, and a blue light hit me, and I had missing time of about five or six hours, but in it I have filt filtrated memories of beings addressing me and telling me that I was powerful and influential and I could help the planet survive, and they put me back in my ship when I woke up, and, and he said, I'm waiting for them to come back, I want them to come back. I was at this lecture, and there were 300 abductees there. That, that some who he interviewed with, some some he had not, but who were there for interest to, to find out a little more about their experience. And one guy got up and said, he had one arm, and I don't know whether that was related. I don't think it was related to the experience, but he said, I'm a Wall Street broker. I'm quite well off. I have a sailboat. I was in Long Island Sound a few years ago, and a blue light hit me, and I had missing time of about five or six hours. I said, Jedi's don't give up. I mean, even if he had a problem, he would maybe take a year to try and regroup. But if he made a mistake, he would try and right that wrong. So right there, we had a fundamental difference. But it's not my story anymore. That's the whole crux of my problem. Luke would never say that. I'm sorry. Well, in this version, see, I'm talking about this, the George Lucas Star Wars. This is the next generation of Star Wars. So I almost had to think of Luke as another character. Maybe he's Jake Skywalker. He's not my Luke Skywalker. But I had to do what Ryan wanted me to do because it, it serves the story well. But uh, listen, I still haven't accepted it completely. I said, Jedi's don't give up. I mean, even if he had a problem, he would maybe take a year to try and regroup. But if he made a mistake, he would try and right that wrong. So right there, we had a fundamental difference. But it's not my story anymore. That's the whole crux of my problem. Luke would never say that. I'm just...
は守り助けるもの傷つけない絶対に傷つけないお前も鬼にならないか<笑>
Up to you, bitch. You want to get your ass whooped again? Come on. Don't be pussy. 